Boom. Oh, the peacocks. Oh, the peacocks. We got stuff going on all over the place. It's going up and down. Oh my gosh. Oh. What is going on, Curls? Welcome back to another video here. Today, we've already got our first batch from Home Depot. A lot of mulch and also three plants to replace these guys, but don't worry, we're gonna replant these somewhere else so that we can see if we can heal them back up, but they got this little fungus. Plants tend to get that sometimes. So I bought some new ones, and they actually match with their trees and our little pom-pom things on the side. That's gonna look pretty cool in the front of my parents' house. Today's goal, obviously, we're gonna make a fish trap later on in this video, but first, first things first, we need to fix up my parents' backyard. I left it, and it was just dirt and a bunch of other stuff, so I'm here today to do just that. I'm going to, let me, let me get the code in here. See all this right here? This is all dirt, and uh, not looking too shabby, you know? We're gonna get sod for this. We're gonna go get sod in just a second. The first batch was the mulch and stuff. I already did this. My mom wanted the bench instead of right there, she wanted it right here. So I put it right here and I actually put the little barrier with some red mulch. As you can see out there is more red mulch so I could finish off of this. Got the bamboo outskirt right here and it looks really nice. Once the sod comes, the sod will be up to the top of that black so it'll go right along with it. So it looks good, nice little place to sit and look right at this beautiful aquascape pond right here. So let me give you a before look right quick. Let me just pan the backyard. There's your quick pans, and then we're gonna do the same pans once we finish everything, and you'll see the difference. I'll line them, uh, you'll see. Hey man. Nick's here. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff as you can see right here. We got a few more things to grab. I gotta go to Home Depot again, get some sod, get some sand, get some, some. Oh, this little truck is taking it, Nick. Taking it. <laughs> oh, look at it just sink, dude. Look at the back of the truck. All strapped in, a lot, a lot of sod. And my truck is, uh, is she is squatting. Got the sod though, and uh, let's head home. So far, so good. Threw a few pieces of sod down. Once it all grows together, you won't see these little lines between the sod. But it is looking good. I'm here for like the third time today. Look how dirty my hands are. Holy moly. PVC, okay, that's too small. This is like the size we need. Just not this long, but this thick. How thick is this? Three inch? Yes, that's about it, but oh, I see it. Down here, here it is. Boom. There we go, there we go, four inch cap. There's a bird bathing in the mini pond. Look at oh, that's Fred. <laughs> that's Fred? Fred's gonna spook in three Fred. seconds. Say bye, Fred! No, he wants to move. Hey, Fred! Whoa! There's that's like dog. three Freds! Oh, that's George! It's <laughs> Josephine! To the new grassed backyard. Holy moly. I got a few more rocks in the back of the truck to do this. See how the rocks are even with the grass? I'm gonna do that like right here and all throughout here to make it look nice. But wow, Nick, what are your thoughts, man? Compared to dirt, what it was before? Let's roll, actually, let's roll the montage. So this is what it looked like before. And now, this is what it looks like. Last time my mom saw this backyard, it was dirt. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe you guys know how to do all this. No We're mud, like, it's a look. miracle. That looks it's so great. Cool. Yeah, we still haven't, we just got oh, half. Oh, it's still but. so much better. Look at it, you put the stuff in. Yeah. Ah, uh, big grass. Gotta get new chairs too, but for now, dude, this was an all day job oh right here. Oh my gosh, you did everything. Uh-huh. It's the whole I way back. I have my backyard back, thank you. Look at this. Mom, Nick also mulched half the half the pond area. This is off right now, but we could mulch the rest. I already have all the mulch on the side of the house. All right, I'm gonna get uh, the rock real quick and finish this, because I, I still wanna to touch up the, okay, touch up the corners. A, a suggestion. What do you think Dad's gonna think about this? Oh my God, he's gonna be so proud. This looks so good. It's insane compared to before, just straight dirt. Gotta do what you gotta do to those who allowed you to start this whole entire journey in the first place. I would not have this YouTube channel. I wouldn't have made any ponds, video, nothing without my parents letting me make that first initial pond. It looked like this. It wasn't too shabby and uh, wow. What a journey I've had to get to this point right here. I do believe by the time I upload this video, I have hit 1 million subscribers, so. How close am I to 1 million? How close is Paul Caparo to 1 million subscribers? 
Oh Lord, we are we are th th right there, dude. We're very very close. We get to open this box tonight because we hit well not yet. But by the time this video is up. We'll have a million subscribers, so I want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I mean, it was just a hobby of mine that I got into, and I made videos. I saw a good reaction from the audience, the Kaferos, and uh, I just kept at it. I kept working at it, and uh, now I'm blessed to be able to have my own place, which you guys probably saw the house tour video, and uh, we're going to make some awesome stuff out here. So if you haven't done already, join the family. Hit the subscribe button down below. It's free, and uh, thank you to everyone that has been subscribed to the channel. I know there's some OGs out They've been here since like the very beginning. But I just got two more packages. Not sure what either one of these are. I think one of them is another video coming up here in the future. But I'm just going to open them both anyway. I am going to film like me hitting exactly one million on camera. So you'll probably see it in the next video after this one. It's going up and oh my gosh. Oh, hey, yo, hey, 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 hey. One mil, baby. One, oh, it's flying up now. It's flying up. One million subscribers. Nick sleeping. I'm getting all these text messages flying through. One sec. Nick. Mm. I hit it, man. He's out for the count. I'm going to celebrate this more when we're all up in the morning. It's, oh my goodness. I was just editing. I go on. I'm at like 999995. Like, filter is on its way, and this is the tubing for the filter. So. That's what we're gonna be using for the catfish pond that's out back. Throw that to the side. I think I know exactly what's in this box. Oh yeah, I know exactly what it is. That's next video, next video. You will see what's inside this box next video. I cannot wait to film this. There you go, Nick. We are going to open, um, push up, put that knife down. The seriously, do not open until you hit one million subscribers. For, oh my goodness. All I see is a gold, PC on the side of a shirt. Now this is from Greg Paul. Congratulations on 1 million subs. Here are some t-shirts to celebrate the occasion. I got a few extra to share with your friends. Now we just need to get you off of skate. How's the first week of April work for you? What? First week of April. For what? Get an aquascape on here. Really? Yeah, man. Thank you for inspiring more people to live the aquascape lifestyle. I'm proud of you, Paulie. Your friend, Greg. Thanks, Greg, and thanks Team Aquascape, because I believe- The pond guy. Wow, can I put one on right now? Look at the back. Wait, can oh, I put one on? One mil club, baby. That's sick. Woo! And we're gonna get a plaque wow. come in the mail. Yo, what size are you? I think that'll fit you, Nick, right No, there. that's not gonna fit. This is a small, so you'd probably be a large. Maybe this one? Nah, it's not that. Okay, then you you might you might be a uh, a medium, if I could find a medium. A medium! Nah, it's not that. Alright, Nick. Put it on, man. Oh, that is more like it, brother. Turn around, give us a spin. Lulu, Lulu repping the One Mill Club. I don't think she likes it. Yeah, she doesn't like it. Let's, okay. let's take that off. Yeah. Sorry, Lulu. <laughs> appreciate it, Greg, for the note, and uh, appreciate Team Aquascape for all this stuff. And we're gonna have, I'm guessing, first week of April, an Aquascape pond here at the Cafero household. We got a whole box of these shirts. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should give some away. I don't know. If you think we should give some of these. Away. I'm gonna keep them stored in the merch closet over there. I will keep these right here. Mom, I know you're gonna want one. Dad, you as well. No, 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 Bubba, it's not food. Hey, they'll be in that closet. If you think we should give them away, just hit the like button. Let's see how many likes. If we get a ton of likes, like more than normal, I'll, uh, I'll pick some winners. Maybe over Instagram or something. It'll be cool. Update on the tank in the wall, the 160 gallon. Dude, look how clear it is now. It's absolutely insane how clear it is. Unbelievable. As you can see, all the fish are real happy, healthy. Crayfish. One blue one is in the rock, and there's a white one right there. It's awesome. It looks so, so good. The beach is that This, <laughs> This was not possible without any of you. If you're watching this video, you made it happen. You are one of the people that helped this all happen and helped this right here happen. So I couldn't, once again, thank you enough. I feel like I say it a lot, but it's needed to be said, you know? Like, I need to mention it multiple times. Make sure it gets in your head that I do appreciate you guys watching. We got the doors, we got handles, we got white going on all this. We're gonna sand this down so it's not this rough look and then uh, put some new doors on here and it's gonna go right with the wall. Anyway, my camera died at Home Depot so I couldn't really show you what I got fish trap wise. It's pretty much just a three inch PVC with a four inch cap on this end. 
and then a PVC uh, reducer on this side. So you can see this is where the fish will go in and then it has a cone shape to where it's harder for them to get out because they, they'll just swim against this. A lot of the times it, it's a structure, so they're gonna wanna stay in here and that's if we catch anything. I'm actually just doing this for fun. So we got some rope right here, I just tied it. Anyway, we got a rope and our fish trap. What we're gonna do is just stuff this thing with bread and throw out in the backyard. All right, a ton of bread is down there. You can't see it, there's two things of bread. And then once we actually do pull this up, hopefully there's fish in it, but we're gonna pop this cap off and we'll just pour it out and see what we got. All right, making the trip to the canal back here. I can't wait till we start doing stuff out here. Still got all these like lumps and stuff. Look at that ant pile. Oh my lord. And then I gotta get fill for the yard because a lot of the spots in this yard are low and they get like marshy and wet. And if I'm gonna have goats and all that sort of stuff out here, they'll get foot rot. So I gotta fill in all this so it stays dry and uh, I can always have certain spots that are marshy just have marshy animals by them. Look how many minnows are right there. Hopefully you can see it on camera, but it is unreal. And the vegetation on the side of this canal is absolutely insane. Like, look at that. That's good vegetation, especially for like crawfish and stuff like that. They're gonna, they're gonna be all over the place. Let's throw this in. Here we go. Oh yeah. Now it's gonna sit on bottom and we're gonna set it right there next to those weeds. See ya. The end is right with the weeds. So look at, look at them all. All right. That's a good sign. This is actually really cool. I might have to do this more often. Fish trap is set and it's in this long canal here. Uh, we're gonna let it sit there for a couple hours. If you guys have not done so already, join the family, hit the subscribe button, we finally hit a million, and let's uh, keep going, let's keep going. We got stuff going on all over the place. Over here we got irrigation going in so we can water all these plants. Look at this. I've never seen one of these things in my life. Digs a hole for them. Look at all the fish that just spooked right up next to the trap. You can see all the fish around it now, and it looks just like a pipe, so I think they're gonna be in it to kind of hide, you know? I've got the rope tied to the top, we're just gonna go. Now that we got the trap though, the hardest part, wow, this thing is filled with water. I'm actually very, very, very surprised that there was no fish in there. All the minnows that were surrounding this trap, I don't know how, I didn't catch anything. I think I'm I think I'm gonna go for a two. A two taker. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this trap back in. I'm gonna get all this soggy bread and put it back in just in a different spot this time. Look at all these minnows just literally everywhere. I'm gonna try this spot, it's a bit deeper. Fill it up just like a water bottle. Set the trap right there. Oh the back end's coming up. Eh, as long as the front's in. Alright. Take two. Look at all the minnows swimming around it. I think we're in good shape here, folks. This fern growing on the side of my canal. This is a really cool plant to have around like turtle tanks and aquariums and stuff. I like that, that's cool. All right. Hey, we got ourselves some minnows. They're tiny too. Look, oh, oh, come here buddy. All right, I know exactly what we're gonna do with these. Let's make a run for it. <sighs> Over the irrigation, yeah. Today we're actually hanging this basking lamp up on the wall. You can already see we drilled a hole, and it's gonna go right over that rock. Let me get all these minnows out and put them in the pond. I always stock it. Oh, watch this, watch this. Peacocks. Oh, the peacocks! Feeding the fish. Oh, 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 oh! It's insane. Now there's a ton of minnows in this pond already, but oh, he got away. Look at that. We got the peacock sea and everything. And a few of them swam away. There's like 150 minnows in that. The fish trap didn't work the first time, but it worked slightly well. We got like probably half a dozen fish the second time. Today's positive comment shout out goes out to Avery. Love your work, Paul. Always love your content. Keep it up. And now that's got four likes. So shout out to Avery. If you want to win a positive comment shout out and have your comment in one of these upcoming videos on the screen, all you got to do is drop a positive comment down in the comments below. And it's very possible.